Hey, it's Blonde here with the Vortex Healing Center. Um, Sue and I have both been pretty quiet over the last couple of weeks since I was on quarantine for being away to the United States. Uh, although it wasn't an official policy, the quarantine didn't start until Monday, but everyone was acting a little goofy. I was like, I'll just stay home for two weeks. And um, a lot of things that happened in those two weeks. And I think if you're on quarantine or you're wondering are you in shelter in place or what is your situation look like? There are some things that certainly helped me get through that time and I'd like to share a couple of those with you. And if you have any questions, I'd love to hear your things, topics you'd like us to take a look at while everyone seems to have some free time. We may or may not have steady internet access, which is the other reason we really weren't posting over the last two weeks. But um, one of the top things we did was really get outside air get sunshine and spend time in nature um, these are just really good things for every human to do as often as possible as much as possible and I think they're really particularly important now um, the second thing I did really to stay sane was to keep up my same daily routine just because you can sleep in doesn't mean you should get keep your routine together keep your meditation program together. And if you haven't started one, I highly encourage you to increase it or add it in daily instead of once when you remember to do it. And especially um, one of the things that I play is some silent, silent energetic healing in the background called peaceandharmonydownload.com. So I'm going to text that in the link here. I encourage everybody to play that in the background. You know, I was actually just talking to our local police officer here and I said, um, is crime down? Because who's outside who could even do anything wrong, <laughs> you know? But his concern is he hasn't really looked closely enough at the numbers yet and I haven't seen any real statistics in the U.S. or elsewhere about what's happening with that. But one of the, his concerns was if people have more cash, are they going to be drinking heavier? They, those bottle shops are still open and there are issues of domestic violence going to be coming up. And again, I would bring that back to get outside air, get sunshine don't abuse alcohol in these very challenging times. You're in close quarters with your spouse or significant other, and it can really trigger a lot of things for a lot of people. So eliminating alcohol as a source of conflict is something I would highly encourage everybody to, to take a look at. And the issue is as well with um being in close quarters, a lot of suggestions have come up that there are going to be more issues of divorce and people separating. And I hope that's not true because I hope what we really have time for now is that more quiet time for that me time, that peace and quiet inside to be able to internalize and really expand that um, essence of who you really are and who you really want to be. This is an awesome, awesome time to start using more of that, your personal consciousness, your highest consciousness to bring forth right now. Start with you. Stop worrying about everything that's happening elsewhere on the planet and start with you raising your consciousness, you sending more love out to you, expanding that space as large and as big as you can possibly expand that. Start there. Focus on that. Imagine if everyone stayed focused on sending even more love than expanding that out to your, uh, to your spouse or your significant other. Expand that out to your children who probably are also going crazy if they don't get some good outside air. <laughs> Come back to my first point. Um, we're going to be doing more of these now if I can keep getting internet access. And... Um, I'd love to hear what your challenges are right now and any questions you might have for us on how you can best share your love for yourself first and keep sending it outward to those around you. Okay, I'd love to hear what's going on for each and every one of you. We think of you. We love you all. And there is never a greater time to feel how connected we actually all are. And... Um, Keep sharing and share this download that I'm going to send you, peaceandharmonydownload.com. It is a miracle worker.